Hello, I'm Ben Morrell with Vaultman Steel Machinery. Today I'm at Elite Welding in Millwood, Kentucky. We're here again talking about the V807. V807 is a machine that can essentially replace four machines, a drill, a saw, a robotic plasma, and a layout marking machine. Since the V807 is such a compact machine and it can do all those processes in one cell, they'll save a lot of space in your shop. As you know, shop space is valuable. Space is money. So we're at the in-feed cross-transfers of the system, and these are 16 foot long. If I break this first cross-transport, it's only gonna stop the actuation of the cross-transports. So if the machine was running right now, it would continue to operate and use the x-axis motion as, as needed. Uh, if I break the second light curtain, the machine's gonna continue to run, but when the x-axis movement is required, it will no longer utilize that function. It will pause until I have exited and safely pressed the reset button. Inside the V807, we have a roller feed measuring system. There's a lot of advantages to this system. Uh, whereas you might have a measuring truck on other machines, that requires you to wait for you to completely finish processing the piece that's in the machine and wait for it to retract before you can load your next piece. A roller feed system will allow the trail edge to rest inside of the machine. It's gonna pass a photo cell on the inside and the next piece of material can automatically move over and be ready to come in the machine as soon as it's done processing. The 807 will accept up to a 44 inch wide profile, 18 inches tall, and up to 30,000 pounds. It'll in feed up to a maximum rate of 200 foot per minute. It's going to come in and clamp the material, make sure it's up against the datum line. The hydraulic vertical clamps are going to come down and create a nice stable platform for the material to rest on and process. And then the measuring wheel is going to engage. Once the machine is zeroed out, you're going to have a very accurate piece of material. What's well, accurate? That's around plus minus one thirty second. The vertical hold down clamps are very important for lighter material. As lighter material comes into the operating space, the material has a tendency to, to move around in here when it's, when it's free of the rollers. So adding these hold down clamps will allow the robot when it comes into play to accurately measure and create nice, precise, clean cuts. Elite Welding has customers such as the Navy, and they require the best quality products. And that means that the edges of the material cannot have any deviations, any gouges or anything in them. So we, we offer a process that allows you to build in a little bit of waste in between each profile. And what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna pierce in the web and come back into the material. And that alleviates any issues with the cut quality on the edge of the material. So once the measuring wheels have uh, taken over, the material is gonna move backwards and forwards in the X direction. And we have about a two foot processing area here where the, the robotic plasma head can move all around the material, cover 100% of the material on all four sides. We can utilize that full length of material. So the second control system is gonna take over, confirm the trail edge, and continue processing. So you can take a, a 40 foot, 60 foot, 75 foot long beam, doesn't matter. It's gonna take it all the way down to the end and utilize all your material. Theoretically, you can be as long as you need. Uh, typically, we sell up to a 75 foot, but we can go beyond that if needed. We can go up to a 44 inch wide profile, 18 inches tall, and it'll enter the machine up to 200 feet per minute. This product here helps illustrate how we perform the weld fit connection. So here we have a piece of flange that has already been removed between two products. The robot's gonna come in and cut away the flange, fall into the web area. Once the operators remove this, the robot's gonna come in, create the K area cut, and then it's also going to complete the common line cut. The machine is smart enough to know that there's a bevel on the plasma torch itself, and it's going to split that bevel between the two pieces. You can see here this whole stack of material was completed using the weld fit connection and the common line cut connection. If we dive a little deeper into the measuring roll system, there's a couple of key features here. The, the measuring roll itself is going to automatically move up and down to the web or the heel of the profile to make sure you've got the best measuring surface. And should you have a piece of material that gets hung up somewhere in the system and the pinch roll slip, it does not throw off the actual measurement of the profile. If the slip exceeds a certain point, then the system will automatically pause itself and ask the operator to check for any kind of collision. The V807 comes standard, the Hypertherm XBR300, and Elite Welding is capable of doing all of that processing with the plasma torch from Hypertherm. For those fabricators that need to go heavier than the capability of the Hypertherm torch, we offer OxyFuel. It takes less than seven minutes to change it out from the hypertherm unit to the OxyFuel unit. If you're a job shop like Elite Welding, 
maybe a miscellaneous shop or a large structural steel fabricator, and you're interested in the V807, either give us a call or check out our website.